So in this tutorial we're going to be looking at moving geometry from Rhino 3D into 3D Studio Max. Um, I'm more comfortable animating in 3D Studio Max and it will give us an opportunity to look at uh, material creation in V-Ray for 3D Studio Max. Uh, it's important to note that Rhino actually has an uh, animation plugin called Bongo. Uh, it's just something I've never used. I've always had better success in 3D Studio and I feel like kind of the studio lighting environment that I'm able to get there works better uh, for me. So this is how I go about doing it. Uh, it'll be broken down into a series of tutorials, but the first one is to organize material or organize geometry by material in Rhino and send it over to a 3D Studio Max file. Uh, so this is an alarm clock I had modeled a few years ago. Uh, we have kind of the front and back gaskets, the body, the bells, uh, and uh, I think I just moved something. Yep. And the uh, all the inner workings. So what I want to do is actually export this stuff by material. Um, I feel like when I bring things into 3D Studio Max, I want to bring it in by material, and that way I can group everything and assign uh, materials, you know, piece by piece. It helps me to keep the model very organized. Where you can see here with all of my layers, it's not as organized as I'd like in Rhino. But that's not a big issue. Um, I'm just going to pull pieces one by one. So here I'm just going to select the back plate, the body, and the front plate, which I know are all black. Actually, the, I believe the, the bells are black also. Uh, it's just a black, shiny metal. So I'm going to type export. And uh, I'm going to create a new folder here on the desktop. And we'll go in. And this time I want a 3DS file. I'm exporting a 3D Studio file. so. It, dot 3ds and this will be black metal. Um, it brings up a dialog box here that allows me to define kind of the density of the polygon mesh that gets created for the 3ds file. Uh, the defaults are fine. We're not actually looking for a huge amount of detail nor do we want it to be too coarse so I'm just going to leave it here and say OK. Once I have those things done I'm going to hide my selected geometry so I know I'm not duplicating when I send things out. Uh, the next easy piece is the glass here, so again I'm going to export, type glass, that's fine, and then I'll hide my piece of glass. Uh, these pieces up here, uh, and these little feet, are silver. Uh, and I think, let's see, we can, we can do the, the thing that rings the bell, and the stopper we will make that silver also. Um, and why don't we do these bolts? and these washers, or these, not not that guy, but these nuts here. This will all be silver material. Um, the other stuff was kind of more bronze. I'm going to grab these guys back here also. You can see I've already exploded it. Um, instead of instead of taking the full object into 3D Studio Max, I've, I've taken it apart in Rhino, and in 3D Studio Max I'll put it back together. So again, I'm going to export this stuff, and this will be silver. That's fine. I'll hide that. I'll make all of these gears and this front and back plate and also these gears will be a bronze color. So I can export these things. Type bronze. You can get the picture by now. It'll take a second. Then we hide these. Uh, and these hand dials were kind of a matte black. So one last thing to do is to export those. Uh, and matte black. There. And all of my geometry is out of Rhino. I've hit it all, so I can type show and bring it all back. And with a lot of other stuff that I had in the model. But now we can jump over to 3D Studio Max. So this is the 3D Studio Max engine. Um, and we have the four viewpoints, it's similar like Rhino. Uh, the controls are a little different, um, but it's just something to get used to. And here I want to import each of those files. So if I go up to the uh, the menu here, I can go import. Uh, then I have to browse desktop, new folder, that was network, new folder, and we'll say black metal. Uh, I want to merge it with the scene and we'll continuously merge into the scene. We're not replacing anything. Uh, and now it asks me if I want the animation to be the same length. Uh, that's fine. So we we'll say yes. And you can see here, it's made my animation timeline down here 30 frames long. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so here you can see I've brought in everything that's 
uh, black shiny metal and I've actually deselected it by accident. So it's not a big deal. I'm going to select all of these things and up here at tools, I'm going to click tools and rename objects. Um, right now they have objects, they're called OBJ001, OBJ002, 003, 004, and so on. Uh, that doesn't matter to me. I don't want to change that. I just want to change the prefix. So I'm going to untoggle the base name and toggle prefix. And now I can type this, uh, let's call it black underscore S for black shiny metal. So now it renames all of those things. And if I look up here at these tools, I have my selection tool and my select by name tool. So if I click select by name, you can see I have black S object one, black S object two, and this will allow me to figure out which material I need to assign to what object. So I'm gonna do that a few more times by going file, import, the bronze, uh, again, merging. There's all my bronze pieces, toolbar, rename, not the base name, but the prefix, bronze. Uh, we can actually leave this open. File, import, glass. Replace, not replace, but merge. So now there's the glass object. I can type glass. File, import, matte black. I'm going to name this one black underscore M. Rename. You can see it actually zooms in on the one thing I'm, I'm selected on. So import, and the last one is the silver. And so I'll rechange that prefix to silver. So there we go. Uh, if I, here's a, down here, if you've never used 3D Studio Max before, in the bottom right is how you toggle which view you want the largest. So I can go here, uh, holding down Alt and middle clicking allows me to rotate. Uh, just the middle click by itself allows me to pan. So in the next tutorial, we'll look at setting up V-Ray and some materials on this. That's coming up next.